Welcome fans to USA Championship Wrestling, KC Gold, alongside my broadcast colleague, Boyd Bradford. No doubt about it. <laughs> how, did, how did that happen? Fans, if you missed last week at Omen Arena for the Big Tennessee Homecoming, you missed a heck of a show. Boyd, we have a new USA heavyweight champion in Doug Gilbert. That's right, dangerous Doug Gilbert surpassed all the odds and was able to topple the big Bam Bam Bundy to become the new USA heavyweight champion last week at Omen Arena. Well, with a little help from his friend Lucky P. Larson and that baseball bat he carries with him. But the Star Twins retain their USA Tag Team Championships and in that big cruiserweight collision, Blake Christian was able to come out on top with Barrett Brown. Well, hold on a second. You forgot about something very important. You forgot about my man, Matt Riviera, the lover boy, doing what he does best and teaching that no good millennial Colton Cage a lesson he'll never forget. Yeah. Now we start our march into our Christmas season, and that takes us to December the 8th for our next show at Omen Arena right here in Jackson, Tennessee. We'll talk about more of the matches, but right now we're going to get straight to action. Well, Boyd, we're gonna start this week off with Kevin Zion accompanied to the ring by his manager, Lucky P. Larson. Well, the show is here. It's the Kevin Zion Show. Oh and we're all gosh, about to don't find out start. why. <laughs> well, Chris Styles, Kevin Zion to start us off tonight. And I'm gonna tell you what, Kevin Zion and Lucky P. Larson have been on a roll since Kevin Zion got back from vacation. And now Kevin Zion with a right hand well, he's to tanned, Chris Stiles. He's tanned and rested and looking good right now. As you can see, he's taking it to young Chris Stiles. And look at that arm. He keeps going back to the arm. It's genius. Well, and Chris Stiles up and over. And Kevin Zion rolling through a clothesline, but misses the big boot. And now Kevin, oh, Chris Stiles with an arm drag and another one. Kevin Zion may have just overstepped his bounds today. Oh, and that, what a kick. Kevin Zion, oh, with that gourd buster. Well, you see, he almost threw Kevin Zion off his rhythm. But as you can see, Kevin Zion has matters well in hand. Well, Kevin Zion may have underestimated Mr. Styles, And now, oh, Kevin Zion. Throwing Chris Styles in between the ropes and into the ring post. He caught some of that ring post right there. Oh, this what, might. What is he setting might, up for? Oh, a pedigree. Right, that looks like that's the end of that. That could be the end for and Mr. Right Styles. Again. The winner of the match, Kevin Zion. Fans, we'll be back right after this break. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he said he was going to do it, and he did. Dangerous Doug Gilbert, the new USA heavyweight champion. How about that? A great deal, right, Burt Prentice? Great deal. A great deal, but I can tell my manager wants to talk before I do, so I guess we better let him talk. Well, he's celebrating. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell the world? Lucky P. Larson Esquire has never told a lie a day in his life. I told you that dangerous Doug Gilbert was going to wipe the mat with Bam Bam Bundy. He was going to kick him from one side of the ring to the other. He did it. Beat him fair and square in the center of the ring. One, two, three. Your new champion once again in the Legion of Lucky. Lucky P. Larson Esquire, again the manager to the stars, the manager to the champs, the champ, dangerous Doug Gilbert. Why is it always about you? I mean, hey, I'd I like to belt. I'd like to have a word with the champion, please. Please. All right, you can Doug, come on in here. You know what, Bert? What 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 you're thinking, and I don't know if this has always been the thing, is kind of the same thing I'm thinking. You know what? For years, my dad, Tommy Gilbert. I think it's 1975, Bert, which you're kind of a historian, at the Mid-South Coliseum, won the Southern Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. You better believe it, absolutely. My dad won titles all over the world. My brother, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert, he won titles all over the world. One of the best. Bert, but all I hear is, and I don't mean this bad, or I don't mean no disrespect, and I mean, I thank all the fans for coming out here, and I hope all of you like me. If you don't, that's fine. But if you do, that's fine also. But there's one thing. Bert, 
I've done everything myself like my dad and my brother taught me. Now, Lucky, I'm not sure who taught you, but you didn't win that title last night. Dangerous Doug did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And I mean, I mean, is that right or is that wrong? That's 100% right. But, but, but listen, you are the manager and everything. But listen, I want to tell you what I want to do, Burt Prentice. And this might shock a lot of people. But what I want to do is carry this USA title around and make these people back here happy and make my family happy. And I'll tell you what, I'm, what I'm going to do is probably carry this belt home to my mom. We've got like a museum at the Gilbert House. She's got every belt that... Kevin Zion, ladies and gentlemen, this is no. this is quite rude. Look, <laughs> look, look, lucky Pete, lucky Pete. Have you told him yet? Lucky Pete, have you told him what? What's going on here? Lucky, tell Mr. Doug. Mr. Doug, no disrespect. Congratulations. You won the championship the belt. Your family's yeah. proud. These fans are proud. But. But that belt doesn't belong to you. And December 8th, it definitely won't belong to you. You should tell him, Lucky. What is he talking about? What? Tell you should him tell him, what? Lucky. Well, Lucky, come here. Tell him. Tell him. Tell Mr. There, Gilbert. There, there is a title match December 8th it's at Omen Arena. It's the title match, not a title match, the title the, match. The title match. On the it, Kevin Zion on show. The Kev on the Kevin Zion show. I didn't make the match, but I was informed that you're defending the title against Kevin Zion on December 8th. Is that supposed to intimidate Doug Gilbert, for gosh sake? Oh, I'm, I'm, it's not to intimidate him. I, I, either way, Lucky P. Larson Esquire manages the champ. Man oh. Lucky P. manages the champ. And, and, and I'm standing now, Burt Prentice, you've known me since I was a little kid, yeah. and, and I'm standing. What, what I was booked on today was the USA Championship Wrestling Show. I, I, hey, Lucky, I never heard anything about a Kevin Zion show. <laughs> is that what we're calling this, or is that what you're calling this? That's kind of what this has turned into. And, and what, what it is, Doug. No, it is. It's it, what it is, Doug. It's what it is. It is what and, it is. And you're a big young man, right? I can take you. you, you Whoa. You, you can take me? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, even without that uh, Batman cape you got on there? It's not, it's not a Batman cape. It's not a Batman cape. I mean, I, 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 and, and I'm not trying to be funny because, listen, Lucky, you, you've done walked over there and stood beside him, and you're saying the Kevin Zion show? Sure has. No kidding? No kidding? What, what I remember being popular in this area was the Memphis Mafia. And, 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 you know, that. Well, well, yeah, that's called, you don't remember because you got a Batman cape on, and I'm not sure what you are, and you got a weightlifting belt on, or you weightlifter too, and you got some Green Hornet uh, things on your boots. But listen, I'm not coming out here to talk, and I didn't even come out here to get mad. I was just going to tell the people I wanted to defend the belt, the USA Championship belt, like it should be defended. Now, I've done a lot of things wrong in my past. My brother did quite a few things wrong too. But I'm going to tell you one thing that we are. We're winners. Our dad, my dad taught us that. You are. You're the champ. I'm the champ, right? December 8th. December 8th, you're a loser. So what, what I'm hearing here is December 8th, it's Dangerous Doug Gilbert against Kevin Zion. Your first title defense. My first title defense. And last. And last, okay. okay. Well, I mean, I've heard a lot of people talk, Bert, and you have too over your years. You've been around all the greats in the world, and I've been around quite a few, right? Oh, yeah. And I've wrestled quite a few oh, yeah. all over the world. I've had more ring time than you've had shower time. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what. If these people here think you can beat me, Maybe you do deserve a title shot. But you know what I think? I think I'm not going to let Lucky Pierre 
manage me anymore. How Whoa. about that? Whoa. I brought you to the title. I'd so say you got fired. end of your career. You know what? Hold, hold on a second. I shouldn't say that. I'm not, not going to let you manage me anymore. Your services are no longer needed. And as far as this goes, you, you know what services are needed? Listen. These people right back here are the people that get y'all two guys to be on TV and to go to the Omen Arena. You know what? There's a lot of guys I don't even think should be able to come to the Omen Arena that don't deserve it, and I'm not sure that you deserve to come. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell these people right here, I will come. What would you say? What's the date, Bert? December 8th. December 8th, I will come, and I will defend this USA title right here against you. And like I said, your services are no longer needed. And after December 8th, you're not going to even think you have any services. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. Doug. No, you proved your point. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. Don't, no, no, no. With me now, the USA Tag Team Champions, the Star Twins, after a successful defense at Omen Arena last Saturday night. Now we march on to December 8th. Matt. Whoa! We got some company. Hey, give it in. Hey! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! First off, first off, I need you folks to stand up and give the Star Brothers the respect they deserve. You know, I've wrestled for many, many years, traveled around the world, seen the Harris twins, seen the Batten twins. See some other twins. But I'm going to tell you what I said back last night, boys. Yeah. And I seen superstars in the making. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What I'm saying is I watch these guys, and they always hear that stuff that, you know, if you're a twin, you can think this, and the other one knows what you're thinking. After watching their match last night, ladies and gentlemen, these boys has got it going on. And it would be an honor for me to put them under my wing. Oh, my gosh. And uh, I'll show you what. Shut up. There you go. You Shut fat up. girl. Yeah, you. You. Anyway, hey, y'all put a heck of a show on. Thank you so much. With me now, ladies and gentlemen, lover boy, Matt Riviera. I tell you what, you are fast becoming one of the most hated wrestlers on our USA circuit. Well, Bert, people from Tennessee are not known for good taste. Oh. Everywhere around the world, the lover boy is loved. The international man of leisure is in demand. I can't help it. If the fans of Tennessee, especially the females, don't have the self-esteem to step up and lay down with the lover boy, Bert, if you know what I'm talking about. Well, well something happened in your dressing room at Omen Arena that, I mean, that, that was kind of, whoa, big gravy. What, what's going on? Wee! Mr. Rivers, by goodness, I tell you what, that's a fancy outfit you got on right Mr. There. Rivers, it's Mr. Riviera. Oh, oh, my, my apologies, sir. My apologies. That's a mighty fine outfit you got there. Uh, how, how can I get one of them? Can, can, can I get a number or something so I can get, give me something like that? I mean, it wouldn't be as effeminate as that, but, big, you know. Big gravy. Come on. Come on. What? You want to know where, who made his robe? I mean, that's pretty there robe you got on, man. I, I'd like to have one, just not so freely or whatever that is. This is his interview time. Hey, come, Bert, come on. Why do you keep giving the, the microphone to this slack jaw joke? You just walked in. I don't even know I'm going to waste my time addressing you. The only reason I am is because you came out here and interjected yourself, if you know what that word means. No, not really. No, just, hang on. You are an illiterate idiot. And do not come out here and touch this $4,000 robe again, please. Oh, Well, here we go. Casey Gold alongside Lucky P. Larson. Uh, Esquire. Hurting. Yeah. 
Matt Riviera taking on that's, big Brandon White. That's Matt Riviera, Matt, Matt, Matt Riviera. You're you're a little slow there, Lucky. Are you are you feeling okay? Well, you saw what that that ingrate did. Ingrate. Yeah, Doug Gilbert hit me with a bat oh. after everything I did for he him. Just, he just gave you a little love tap. What are yeah. you talking about? Yeah, after everything I did for him, I single-handedly brought him from obscurity to the USA Heavyweight Championship, and this is how he repays me. What have you been eating? Good grief, Doug Gilbert has been around the world long before Lucky P. Larson came along. Yeah, he had a good career way back when, but he hadn't done anything lately till I got around him. Well, Matt Riviera, Matt, Matt, just, Matt put, Riviera. just put a chop on Big Brandon White and another one. And you know, I want to know something here, Casey Bald. Why is it, why is it a few weeks ago after LT Falk speared me, he was your favorite wrestler. Now, Doug Gilbert hits me and he's your favorite wrestler. You're so fickle. Fickle, I'm not fickle at all. I, I just love to see it when uh, guys like you get their own comeuppance. That's a big word for you. That's, and, and, I yeah. bet you don't know what uh, those words Matt Riviera used either. Oh, I, I know what those words meant. When yeah. he was talking to Big Gravy, oh yes, I know those. I, I do have an education from a fine establishment. Yeah, it's probably some school in Jackson. No, 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 I, I I didn't grow up in Jackson. I grew up somewhere else. Unlike you, I grew up in the great state of Tennessee. I grew and up in the greatest city in the world, Boston, Massachusetts, home of the world champion Boston Red Sox. Absolutely, this year. And now Matt Riviera hooking oh, in the night. lock of shame. 99. Oh, big Brandon White. Tap. And this could. There it goes, hit the bell. There it is. Your winner of the match, the lover boy, and now, what is the lover boy doing? He wants to make sure that Brandon White taps. Why in the world? He wanted to make sure he tapped. He had already tapped. Well, he couldn't see it. The bell had already rung. Wow, you know, Brandon, you and I have gone around time and time again now. And I got to tell you, big man, when I first met you, I thought you were like these people. But here's the thing I've noticed. You have work ethic. You have drive. You have determination. And on today's show, once again, you went in this ring and you took me to my limit. So my friend, moving forward, I have an offer I would like to make you, big guy. That is, you come with us. You come with the rat catcher. You come with Bradford. We'll get out of these Tennessee trailer park welfare having sweat hogs. We'll go downtown. We'll go down to Little Rock. You come with me. Money, women, wine. You say what it is, big guy. We'll take USA Championship Wrestling over. Brandon, what are you doing, man? Come on now. We're family. I know you better than this. Why, why him? Why him? He, look at him. He, he's not worth it, Brandon. We're your family now. Brandon, these, We're your family now. these people love you. Why would you go with a no good slob like him? He, he is a, look, he is a snake in the grass, man. He is a snake in the grass. What are you doing? Maybe come he, on, Brandon. Maybe he's got a point. Family first, baby. Come on. Come on. Wow. What a headbutt. Oh, my gosh. Well, what a show this has been. Trent the Rustler Taylor, I guess, is Lucky P still your manager? Listen, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. What we're talking about is how ever since I've joined with, up with Lucky P, I have taken over Tennessee. I've completely taken it over. Think about it. I've, I've taken it over more than the Jarretts, more than the Falks. Hey, well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Who hasn't taken over more than hang the Falks? Hang on, hang on. The Falks. Speaking of Falks, where's LT? <laughs> 
Where's Where's LT? Where's LT? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, Why is that funny? Uh, it's funny because LT thought he was going to walk in here. He thought he was going to take my undefeated streak from me by pulling my tights and costing me my match on USA Championship Wrestling TV. I got, I got but question. let me ask you a question. Wait, hang on, hang on. Who exactly is Tony That's Falk? <laughs> One person Tony Falk ever beat in like 150 years of wrestling? You mean this, I, never, never mind. I think maybe he beat his own kid. Well, you might better get out of the way. Uh, uh, running their, run their mouth like always. I'm so relieved I don't have to follow these guys around and listen to them run their mouth because they love to do nothing but that run their mouth. Now, Trent, these good fans know everybody in TV land. They know last time you and I, last time you and I met up, I didn't cheat. Struck the nerve, my dad, my dad, Tony Falk, somebody that tried to help many in this business, huh? Many of my, watch out, man.